Hey guys, how's it going? You know, I've made a video in a while, so I figured I'd pick the camera up and uh, fix that. Been putting around with the um, single cab, going to a bunch of different shows and all, and uh, had uh, the green bike on there for quite a while. And yesterday I dug out the uh, that moped that was converted into like a chopper. Um, I think what the moped started out as road road something, and. Uh, that's probably about a year or two old. I wanted to see if I could take a moped and try to make it more choppery looking. Uh, instead of trying to make a bike into a moped, I want to try to make a moped more into a bike. So uh, I haven't shown that one at all, but I did take it and uh, it fired right up five feet out of the garage pedaling. It started right up after sitting for a year. And I took it for a ride and uh, got about a mile from the house and I ran out of gas. <laughs> so pedal at home. They do not pedal very well. Might as well just push it. Uh, what else I got going on? The um, I had to go free up the trailer. I'm gonna go pick up Bob's uh, 54 Beetle uh, probably tomorrow, and uh, we're gonna try to get that roadworthy once I get that on the road. And uh, what was sitting on the trailer was the old Forerunner that blew a head gasket. And uh, I'm gonna go I don't know, as soon as this video is done. I'm gonna take and swap those tires. I gotta take them off the rims. Those are new. And uh, put them on the new old Forerunner, and um, put those tires back on the other one. And I'll probably put that on uh, that Craigslist for 800 bucks. See if anybody bites on it. The body is decent, but you know, it is what it is. If somebody has a wrecked one or whatnot. Uh, they can use it for parts. What's nice about it? It's a it's a limited, so it's got some of the nicer bells and whistles in it. And if not, it'll go to the boneyard after I strip some stuff off of it. There's the uh, green bike, I just took it off. I was showing that one for a while. The uh, blue bus, the blue and white one, sold last week. That's another one out of the yard. I'm just trying to get caught up. Instead of uh, you know going to yard sales and buying a lot of shit and uh, getting more stuff that I can get done, I decided to just kind of focus on uh, getting caught up on with stuff and visited some family and friends and saw Harvey Spooner and did a bunch of other di different things. Did, uh, as I said, I went to a bunch of different shows and all. And, uh, I think they all buy their trophies at the same places. There's a couple here, there's a couple. There's about another you know, five or six in the garage of different things for bikes and the VWs. And when I dug out the uh, moped yesterday, this was next to it. This was that, um, Speedway mini bike, which is an offshoot of Rupp. I think the employees got disgruntled and they opened a mini bike shop across the street from uh, Rupp, which I think was Pennsylvania. I'm not positive of that. And uh, that's why a lot of the stuff kind of looks like a Rupp. I think they had the same kind of, uh, you know, same engineers or whatnot, you know, with the canted uh, plate for the motor and all that kind of stuff. I, uh, I, I an older gentleman uh, stopped by and said he had a mini bike and a scooter that, um, I'm trying to think of the name of the scooter there, Cushman scooter. You guys saw that one too. And uh, I cleaned this one up just, he had painted it who knows how long ago. And uh, the problem was, I think the carb, and I did a carb kit on this motor and it came back and I got everything running and working on it. And I was just gonna go flip it and I put it on Craigslist and uh, I got a couple of bites, but they were, you know, coming in at, I think I had it on for 600 bucks, something like that. And they're coming in around 300 bucks. And I had 600 firm just because of what it is. And, uh, it did not sell. Um, I didn't renew the ad or anything, but, uh, so I decided to take some more time on it and just kind of make it a little bit better than what it was. The front shocks were collapsed and they're spring loaded and they were not working. So I already started ahead of you guys. And I tore all that stuff apart yesterday and heated up in here. You can see what there's all the heat marks. And you can see this little kitty wampus up there. Uh, just enough to try to go get it straight again and um, get the shocks working again. One, one of them had a broken clap spring in it, so I replaced the spring. Honed out the uh, the bores on the inside of it. They're all cruddy and rusty and uh, re-oiled them. And that's all working good again. But the other part of this bike, the reason why I believe it doesn't sell is because it's fugly. And uh, what made it fugly was um, the use of that uh, silver paint that they call chrome and as you can see that stuff is just it just so takes away from the look of it you know it makes it look cheesy it makes it reminds me of every car that was sold in the 70s that they would clean up the rust on the bumpers they would spray that crap over it 
So I already took it off the forks, I took it off the front wheel, every piece that I had um, to go clean up. And my thoughts are to um, uh, paint those out again. And uh, I think I'm gonna go with like uh, an antique white for now and um, change them. How that's gonna go with the red, I'm not sure. I, I may paint the frame too, but before I do that, all that stuff is you know just superficial on the outside, fairly easy to take off and, and clean up and paint. But um, so I'll, I'll make them the, the antique white or ivory, put those back on, see how I like it. If I like it, I'll leave it alone. If I don't, I'll either take the frame and, and black out the frame or I'll paint the frame orange, like an orange creamsicle. You have the two colors there, you know, the off-white and the, uh, the orange. And uh, I'll see if I might go that direction. You can see all the paint on the back wheel too. It's on the wheels, on everything. It's on the air cleaner. It was on the muffler, but they burned that off. The handlebars, I cleaned it off the handlebars. A pull start. It just looks the rear pulley. It just looks tacky, and it's too much of it too. You know, it's too much of the same thing all over the place. So some of the stuff I'll just clean and probably leave alone. I'll probably take the the rear sprocket and just clean all the paint off of it and leave it raw metal, and uh, probably the carb. And I'm not sure about the intake, the, the air cleaner rather. So that's what's happening with that guy. And then uh, you know, I may throw it in the back of the truck. Uh, with the other bikes and put a for sale sign on it and if somebody looks at it uh, they may uh, make an impulse buy or trade or whatnot you know so that's the case with that guy uh, what else is going on is uh, unfortunately um, our white dog mogul and he you know, make a long story short we had to put him down a couple of weeks ago he um, uh, had a tumor on his spine in his back and he started getting to the point where his health He had no quality of life anymore. No matter what we could do for pain meds or anything else uh, We could not stop his uh, Pain, you know, he, he would be up. He'd be painting all the time At nighttime when he's trying to sleep you have AC on him a fan on him uh, pain meds and everything and he just could not get comfortable. He'd be standing all night long because his back would hurt. You know, he probably felt better if he stood up. And, you know, it breaks your heart watching him go through that. But, you know, you know when you're questioning yourself that it's time, then you pretty much know it's time. And it, well, he wasn't going to get any better. It wasn't like he was going to be cured or anything. And uh, so his time came and we had to go put him down. And uh, that's tough for us. We don't have any kids. Our, our dogs are our kids, you know. And... Uh, You know, uh, I miss them, but that's the part of having pets that sucks. You know, is that you you, you lose them, and uh, their lifespan is so much shorter than ours that uh, you know you, you get to see them go from. Sometimes you get to see them go from a puppy to a you know an old man really quick, and uh, well. Trying to keep my emotions in check here, but you guys understand. So that's part of the reason why some of the videos were, uh, I haven't been putting videos out, but uh, just haven't been in a mood and some other stuff going on too. But uh, we'll kind of leave it at that. Um, again, guys, thanks for watching, comment, and subscribing. Uh, we'll hope to see that uh, I'll do another video and see how this comes out after we get it cleaned up. But for right now, I got some tires to go change and get that thing. Uh, uh, her car safe to drive and uh, get the forerunner emptied out and uh, get it up for sale or get it to the junkyard and uh, make another space in the yard now that I got two cleaned up I got the uh, blue buses gone and then uh, that'll leave so all right guys again thanks for watching comment subscribing and uh, I'll catch you in the next video take care bye Rough day. Thoughts up.